Alright then gang, so in this video I'd like to talk about reactive values and statements. But to do that, I'd like to flesh out an example so it's easier to understand. So at the minute, we just have these two values, name and belt color. But what I'd like to do is expand this so that we have a first name. And I'm going to change that to Jimmy. And then we have a last name. So let's last name. And I'm going to set that to Hendrix. Okay. So now we have a first name and a last name. And in fact, what I'm going to do is create an input for each one so that a user can choose what these different values are, much like we have the belt color input right here. So what I'm going to do is delete a lot of this stuff right here, get rid of the button, and I'm going to get rid of that stuff at the top. Don't need that anymore. Now I'm going to keep this because that's the belt color. That's where we output this thing. And then I'm going to do a few different inputs. So first of all, I'm going to do an input for the first name and we're going to bind that. So we'll say bind the value equal to first name. And I'm just going to duplicate this and we're going to change this to a last name like so. Okay, so we have three inputs so that a user can choose the first, the last name and the belt color. And we're also outputting the belt color right here. But instead of doing that, let me get rid of that like so and just save it so we're just outputting the belt color without the color of the text so if i go over here we can see we have these three values if i change this to red it updates over here but these two if we change them it's not going to update anywhere because we're not outputting those now what if i wanted to output the full name well i'd have to somehow concatenate these and output them separately so i could say something like first name and then do a space and then do last name like so and then that would work so if i save this it says jimmy hendrix black belt and if i change this to i don't know jimmy foo it changes up here and the first name does as well so that's fine but instead it would be nice if we had some kind of value called full name and we could just output the full name here instead of both of these together. And then that value would automatically update whenever the first name changes or the last name changes. So it watches these values and then it updates itself based on those values. Now we can use what's known as a reactive value to do that. Now reactive values in Svelte are just values which are reactive. They update automatically when the data they depend on changes so they basically watch other certain values in your code and react to them and change in order to update the wrong value so they're a little bit like computed properties in Vue.js if you have any experience with that and the way we do it is something like this we say dollar sign and colon first of all then the name of this reactive value I'm going to call it full name and now you set it equal to something. So all I need to do is set it equal to a string which kind of concatenates these two things. So I could use a template string. I could just concatenate them regularly, but I'm going to use a template string. This is regular JavaScript. And the way we output variables in a template string is by using dollar sign, curly braces, then the variable we want to output. And then after that, I'll do the last name. Oops, curly braces, last name like so and that is it this is our reactive value so this right here we can now output over here so instead of this stuff we can just output the full name like so and that's a bit easy because if we're outputting this in several different places we don't have to output two variables each time now this is a simplified value and you might not see much worth in doing it just for this simplified value but this is just to show you how to use these it's obvious we're going to start simple and then later on we are going to use more complex reactive values but just to demonstrate this let me save it and show you that it works so we have there you can change this and change this and everything still works including the belt color even though i can't spell it on it great so this is a reactive value right here and it automatically updates the value of this when either of these things inside the reactive value change okay so we can also have something called reactive statements now they're similar but they're statements this time which are reactive instead of just simple values and they run whenever data inside the statement changes 
So they're a bit like reactive values, like I said, but this time, instead of assigning a value, we're just gonna run a bit of code instead. And the way we do it is very similar, dollar sign and then colon, and then whatever kind of code we want to run. So for example, I could say console.log, and we're gonna output the belt color to the console, all right? So how does this work? Well, this reactive statement is watching whatever values we use inside it, in our case, belt color. And whenever that changes, it's gonna react and run this statement. So if I save this and come over here, I'm gonna open up the console and you can see automatically we get black. But if I change this, now we're logging it out to the console every time there's a change in the value. Now, if you wanna do something a bit more complex, you can do, I'm gonna just cut that. And if you wanna do say two or three or four lines of code, instead, you can use curly braces to create a code block. So I could do the belt color. I could also console.log the full name like so. So now this is gonna run this code block every time either of these values change. Not both of them, we don't need both of them to change, just one of them because it's watching all of the values we use inside this code block and if any of them change at any point it runs the whole code block so if i save this and go over here and i'm going to change this to red you can see it's outputting the color and the name every time okay and by the way we used full name here we can use other reactive values inside our reactive statements so they're very very flexible so like I said, these are simple examples, but I just wanted to introduce you to the concept of these now so that later on when we use them, they're not new to you and they are gonna be a little bit more complex later on as well.